I'll try to keep the step-by-step -step explanation as simple as possible for this guide. Step one, identify the voltage controllers you want to control with the EVZ2SX. On this graphics card, I will do two hardware modifications. The first modification is for the GPU voltage controller, and this will help address the power and voltage limitations we discussed before. The second modification is for the memory voltage controller, which hopefully will provide us with additional overclocking headroom for the memory. First up is the GPU voltage controller. We identified the UPI semiconductor UP9529P as the GPU voltage controller. While we can't find the exact matching datasheet, we can find the UP9529Q datasheet on UPI's website. We identify this poorly marked 7212IC as the memory voltage controller. Unfortunately, it was not that straightforward to find the datasheet of this IC. While the IC is present on many GTX 1650 cards, the IC marking does not clearly indicate the IC vendor. Some media incorrectly identify this IC as an ON semiconductor OEM part. With the help of Elmore from Elmore Labs, we eventually identified this IC as the GS Tech GS7212. Unfortunately, the PDF is no longer hosted on the website. Luckily, we could get a hold of the datasheet via other means. Step two, determine how the hardware modifications will work. The UPI Semiconductor UP9529P supports NVIDIA's Open VREC Type 3i Plus with PWM VID interface and other advanced features. For this guide, however, we will focus on be able to manually increase the voltage output. In the datasheet, we find a typical application circuit where we can trace back V out via the DR MOS to PWM1, 2, and 3 of the voltage controller. In the functional block diagram, we find that the difference between the reference input voltage, ref in, and feedback voltage, FB, drives the PWM control logic. Essentially, the voltage controller aims to have the reference voltage input equal to the sensed output voltage. Suppose the reference input voltage is higher than the feedback voltage. In that case, the voltage controller will try to increase the output voltage. Or suppose the reference input voltage is lower than the feedback output voltage. In that case, the voltage controller will try to decrease the output voltage. That offers us two ways to adjust the output voltage, adjust ref in or adjust FB. In the functional description section, we find a more detailed overview of the PWM VID structure, which configures ref in. The figure shows that VREF, REF adjust and VID affect the ref in voltage. In short, a boot voltage is set by resistors R2, R3, R4 and R5 from the two volt reference voltage VREF. This voltage can dynamically be adjusted by a ref adjust output, which is determined, in this case, by the VID. The VID is, of course, controlled by our GPU and its GPU boost algorithm. In the typical application diagram, we can see the feedback voltage, FB, connects to the voltage output, VOUT, with two resistors serving as voltage dividers. However, when we check the physical PCB, we only find one resistor. To make a long story short, while the voltage controller supports using the feedback circuit as a voltage divider, it is used for voltage sense in this particular implementation. This is not uncommon when the voltage is controlled using the ref method. In fact, we saw the same with our GeForce GT1030 from Scatterventure number 40. So what are our options to manually adjust the reference input voltage? Let's check in with Ohm's law. Voltage equals current times resistance. We can replace any of the four aforementioned resistors with a different resistor. Reducing the resistance of R2 or R3 would increase the ref in, whereas lowering the resistance of R4 or R5 would decrease the ref in. Instead of replacing the resistor, we can add a variable resistor parallel with any of the four mentioned resistors which will effectively decrease the resistance of that resistor. That is the typical approach for hardware modifications, as we can use a variable resistor to change the voltage on the fly. 
we can inject a current at the ref in point, which increases the voltage to ref in. With the Elmore Labs EVC2SX, we go for that third option, as we want to alter the current in the circuit to adjust the reference input voltage. In addition, we also remove the resistor connecting the ref adjust and GPU VID from interfering in the circuit. We need a very low VID, around 0.65 volt, to stay below the power limit. Still, at the same time, we need a higher voltage than Vmax, about 1.1 volt, to achieve stability at higher frequencies. In other words, we need a voltage offset of around 450 millivolt. If we use this kind of offset, two things will happen. One, the boot voltage may be too high. And two, there might be sudden spikes of voltage when the GPU boost algorithm finds there's enough voltage headroom for the highest VF point, which would result in the 450 millivolt offset applied to the 1.05 maximum VID, so resulting in 1.5 volt. By eliminating the VID from the equation, we ensure that there is one fixed voltage applied. In the datasheet, we find a typical application circuit and see that we can trace back the voltage output, V out, to U gate and L gate. The upper gate driver output, U gate, and lower gate driver output, L gate, connect to the high side and low side MOSFETs. To keep it simple, the MOSFET is a transistor controlled by the gate signal that will switch on and off. In this case, the high side connects to 12 volt and the low side would be zero volt as it's connected to ground. The MOSFET outputs this 12 volt and zero volt through an output filter, which averages out these voltages to provide a smooth output voltage. For example, let's say the MOSFET switches on the high side 12 volt 10% of the time and the low side 0 volt 90% of the time. The average voltage output of the MOSFET is then 12 volt times 10%, plus 0 volt times 90%, so 1.2 volt. In the functional block diagram, we find that the gate control logic is driven by comparing the reference voltage VREF and feedback voltage FB. As defined in the electrical characteristics section of the datasheet, on the GSTEC GS7212, the reference voltage VREF is an internal non-adjustable voltage of around 0.7 volt. In the typical application diagram, we can see the feedback voltage FB connects to the voltage output V out with two resistors serving as voltage dividers. We can also find these resistors on the physical PCB. The way this works is not that difficult to understand. Essentially, the voltage controller aims to have the reference voltage equal to the sensed output voltage. For example, the reference voltage is fixed to 0.7 volt, and the two feedback resistors divide the output voltage by 2. Since the reference voltage should equal the feedback voltage, the output voltage should be 1.4 volt. If we double the resistance between V out and feedback, the voltage controller would have a feedback input of 1.4 volt divided by 4, or 0.35 volt. In this case, the voltage controller will increase the output voltage to re-equalize the reference and feedback voltage to 0.7 volt. So what are our options to manually control the feedback voltage? Again, let's check in with Ohm's law. Voltage equals current times resistance. We can replace the resistor connecting V out and FB with a higher value. That will result in a lower voltage reported to the feedback pin. Consequently, the voltage controller will try to increase the voltage output. Alternatively, we can replace the resistor connecting FB and ground with a lower value. That will also result in a lower voltage reported to the feedback pin. Consequently, the voltage controller will try to increase the voltage output. We can sync a current on the feedback pin. That will reduce the voltage on the feedback pin, and as a consequence, the voltage controller will try to increase the voltage output. Step three, find the headers near the VMOD1 marking on the EVC2SX PCB. On the EVC2SX, there are seven pins, one for ground and three sets of two pins for a specific voltage controller. The two pins have two purposes. One pin is used for voltage measurement and the other pin is used for voltage adjustments. 
Starting from the ground pin on the left, every other pin is for the voltage measurement and the pins in between are for voltage adjustments. Step 4. Connect the various pins to the relevant points on your graphics card. In my case, I connect the pins from left to right as follows. Pin 1. Any ground of the graphics card. Pin 2. The current source for the GPU voltage circuit. Pin 3. Voltage measurement point for the GPU voltage. Pin 4. The current sink for the memory voltage circuit. Pin 5. Voltage measurement for the memory voltage. Step 5. Open the Elmo Labs EVC2 software for voltage monitoring and control. You can find the relevant controls under the DAC1 submenu. Here you will find VN1, VN2 and VN3. If your voltage measurement point is correctly connected, you should immediately see the voltage monitoring. You can adjust the number of microamps sunk or sourced from the connected voltage controller by the drop down menu options. As I explained in the previous segments, we are sourcing current on the refin pin for the GPU voltage hardware modification. That means we can increase the voltage by using positive values. Conversely, we are sinking current on the FB pin for the memory voltage hardware modification. That means we can increase the voltage by using negative values. Please be aware that any changes in these dropdowns can cause permanent damage to your hardware, so be very careful when adjusting the voltages. I suggest taking the following precautions. Every time you want to adjust the voltage, always start with the smallest step up or down. That allows you to double check if the voltage monitoring works correctly and confirm the step size of the voltage adjustment. Increase the voltage step by step to ensure the voltage increases as you expect. While the EVC2SX provides a great function, it does not always have fine grain voltage control. So the step size might not always be ideal. In my case, I saw a 100 millivolt step increase in GPU voltage.